Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how to edit markups using the markup editor in Bluebeam Review 21. Let's see how you can do so. After opening Review 21 on your desktop, go to the file menu at the top to open PDF. To access the markup editor, select any existing markup on your PDF drawing and your markup editor will appear in the properties bar at the top. Or you can create a fresh markup or measurement. Let's create a rectangle markup and your markup editor will appear at the top of your workspace. You can access the markup editor anytime by selecting your markup using the select tool from the navigation bar below. Let's edit this markup by changing its line color. You can choose from the existing colors or set your color with RGB or hex value. Let's decrease the line opacity by decreasing its percentage. You can also choose from different line styles and increase the line thickness. Let's fill this rectangle markup by adding a fill color. Decrease the opacity of the fill color to make the content inside the rectangle visible. You can access other options if you choose text-based markups or measurements to alter the text style. Let's create a measurement from the measurements panel. In the panel, let's select the volume tool. Click and drag to make a rectangular selection or mark individual anchor points for non-rectangular regions. Let's change its line color to match our preference. Now add a fill color. The volume label here can be edited for different font styles, sizes, and colors. Let's change its font to the one we desire. Next, change the font color from the font settings. As you can see, the volume is showing zero magnitudes because its depth is by default set to zero, which you see alongside other quantities at the extreme right of the markup editor under the totals dropdown. Go back to the measurements panel and enter a non-zero value for depth. Watch our separate video on volume measurement to see how to use volume measurement in Bluebeam Review 21. Now, you can see that the volume measurement tool uses depth as a third dimension to calculate volume, and the values are also updated under the totals drop down here but it's not showing any values for slope or count. We can use length measurement to see the slope under the total section. Similarly, we can use the count measurement tool to see the total number of counts. Select the line measurement and go to the totals drop down to see the slope, but a line has no area, volume, or other dimensions, so their values are either not shown or zero. Select the count measurement and go to the totals drop down. You will see the count as three as we have marked three checks with the count measurement. You can also access all these values and quantities under the markups list and use these values for further measurements by creating custom columns or enabling existing columns from the markups list dropdown. Watch our other video to see how to use custom columns in Bluebeam Review. This is it for today. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics your go-to partner for all things Bluebeam digitizing construction since 2003.